Hello guys and welcome back to another one with us, the Review Bros. And today we're going to be taking a look at Beast Farm Stim pre-workout by the man himself, Eddie Hall. It says on the back here, Beast Farm Stim is for serious athletes only. It's cutting edge formula of powerful ingredients to deliver everything you need to smash through a tough workout with increased performance, laser focus and an insane pump. Eddie Hall has even quoted this and signed it. I've refined 20 years of experience with supplements into my pre-workouts and the results speak for themselves. Get ready to take your training to the next level. So, big talk from this pre-workout, but how will it fare as we put it through the usual taste, price, label, effects? Is it gonna be worth actually picking up? And if you're new here and you like our videos, please do hit the like button, hit the sub button, tick the bell icon, so drop a few reviews a week. You know, you might find it entertaining, you might find it helpful, but let's get into this one. We are into the first segment, taste and mixability. And we've got the pleasure of trying out lemon sherbet flavor. It also comes in sour cherry, but this one was slightly discounted on Amazon, so I got this one. Those are the only two flavors that I can see on Amazon at least. There might be more on other websites potentially, but we're going by Amazon because that's their, seems to be their main place selling it and most accessible to most people. It's Amazon for Christ's sake. So anyway, let's see how it tastes. So mixability first though, actually, a little bit better than average, I would say. But then again, it's not the biggest serving amount in the world because it is more of a stim pre. But anyway, how does it taste? It's weird because um, I could taste the lemon sherbet quite potently the first couple of times I've tried it, but then I tried it with some friends and they said it tastes more like cola, like fizzy cola bottles. And now that's all I can taste, a fizzy cola sort of flavor. So it'd be interesting if you've tried this or you're gonna pick this pre-workout up, I'd love to know what you think, whether you think it's more lemon sherbet or fizzy cola bottle. Somewhere in the middle, somewhere in between that spectrum. It's just a nice sweet flavor. It's definitely along the lines of sherbet-y, lemony, cola-y, in that realm. But it is nice tasting. There's no nastiness coming from the back end. I think overall they've done well and I do anticipate that the other flavor will be just as good. So one more sip and I'll give you a score. I think I'd be happy to give it an eight out of 10. Like, it's damn, it's damn well decent enough. It's not incredibly good, but it's definitely better than good. It's, it's pretty damn good, like I said. So eight out of 10, not too bad. Let's move on to price. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. How much will we be paying for this pre-workout? Well, you head over to amazon.co.uk where you can find this full 30 serving tub on there for £34.95. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I got mine a little bit discounted. I think it was 31 pound odd pennies, a few quid off. Um, obviously gonna roll on the full price, the non-discounted price, because obviously that's the price that's gonna be available moving forward, not just for a temporary period of time. So bear that in mind. £34.95 pennies for the tub, 30 servings, divide that up, paying £1.17 per the serving. Now we have a consistent price scale where a five out of 10 is considered to be the bang average price point of pre-workouts on the market today. This comes in at 7.5 out of 10. So it's definitely more affordable than your typical pre-workout on the market by a reasonably decent degree. So what exactly are we getting for that money in the label and will it actually come through in the real world effects ultimately? Will it be worth it? Stay tuned and we'll find out. Okay, it's label time. So what exactly are we getting in this formula? Now, bearing in mind that on the side here, you know, like I said in the intro, they've really hyped it up. Eddie Hall's put his stamp of approval on it, said that he's formulated it over 20 years of experience, yada, yada, yada. What are we getting? Bearing in mind that his price pretty damn good as well. So one scoop, 13 grams, which is probably on the lower to mid end of what you would see as a serving amount today. But then again, they are going down the stim route. It's not necessarily a fully fleshed out pre. It's more for, for the stim element primarily. So bear that in mind. But anyway, 13 grams is what we're getting per the serving. Citrulline malate, two to one, six grams. We're getting four grams of L-citrulline, the pure L-citrulline, four grams, which is probably the lowest amount that we would like to see. A lot of people like to see six, eight, or even 10 grams. But four grams is definitely gonna get things moving in terms of bumping up your nitric oxide levels, increasing blood flow and pump. So we'll take it. Considering it's not going down the pump route, 
you know, entirely. Uh, then we've got beta alanine at 3.2 grams, which is the dose we look for, the daily amount. That is another amino acid that's going to give you that itchy, tingly sensation when it kicks in. But why we actually take it is to help with our endurance, because when you reach that saturation point, you're taking it for a long enough period of time, it will help you to buffer lactic acid and therefore potentially get an extra rep or two in the gym. Basically, help with endurance. And then we've got tyrosine at a gram, which is a nice dose, another amino acid, being shown to help with your focus and mood. Then we've got caffeine and hydrus, 300 milligrams, which is maybe around the, the average typical amount on today, as, as of today, maybe on the lower end of average, okay? It's anything from 300 to 350 milligrams, I would say, in a pre. So yeah, we're getting about three cups worth of strong coffee or a couple of energy drinks worth of energy. So it's definitely no slouch. So yeah, it's the main stimulant in any pre-workout that's gonna wake you up and get you moving. And it's the backbone from a lot of other ingredients that work, specifically from a, um, a nootropic standpoint. Then we've got juniper berry extract, 300 milligrams, which is some like side health benefits, you know, down the anti antioxidant route and things like that. But why it's usually used in pre's is because it's been shown in some studies to up uprate the effects of stimulants. So it can make caffeine hit harder and other stimulants hit harder and last longer in the system. So it's, it's kind of one of those buzzy ingredients. So will it do that here? Possibly. Uh, then we've got sausage tree extract, another stimulant at 200 milligrams which is known as Kegelia africana. This is another stimulant that's kind of similar in some ways to caffeine in that it's obviously gonna hit your central nervous system, rev you up, give you energy, wake you up, get you moving, improve your alertness levels, and it does obviously pair well with caffeine itself. So yeah, you don't see it all too often. It's mainly more of a UK pre-workout ingredient. You don't see it all too often in American pre's anyway. So then we move down to Juglans whole fruit extract, walnut at 200 milligrams, which is again another stimulant, another more of an exotic one, similar to the previous one. Again, more of a UK type ingredient. You don't see it a lot in American pre's, although you are seeing it a bit more nowadays now that you know the likes of DMHA and things of that nature are being banned or shunned. Other ingredients are starting to take its place and Juglans is one of them. So it depends on how pure and potently it is sourced because sometimes it hits hard, sometimes it doesn't hit that hard. Um, but I do also believe that sometimes companies use Juglans as a cover-up for synthetic DMHA. So that leads to a bit of confusion as to how strong Juglans really is. But it's more like, um, it's a mild stimulant. I think we just all have to admit it. It is definitely on the more mild side, like 200 milligrams of caffeine, you're probably gonna feel more than taking just 200 milligrams of Juglans on its own. That's just the reality. But there might be some magic here that where they all sort of tie in and synergize and work together and up uprate the effects of each other. So it is um, potentially an exciting label from a stimulant standpoint, depending on how they all tie together. But basically, yeah, we've got a handful of different stimulants, some exotic, some not so much. It's all gonna sort of rely on their, their synergistic effect together, isn't it, at the end of the day. There's no digestive aid in this formula, nor that we would necessarily need one. It's on the lighter end of, of pre-workout serving amounts, as I've, as I've discussed. We haven't really got much in there for pump apart from the L-citrulline, so that's enough to get things moving, but not much more beyond that. Um, a little bit in there for endurance with the beta aniline, but apart from that, we're all talking stim and focus. So I've got, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful for it. Obviously, I've used it a few times, so let's get into the real world effects, and I will bestow all of the spoilers on you. Okay, let's talk about the real world effects of this pre-workout. And I've used it a good three or four times at this point because it's just been one of those that's suitable to a lot of different scenarios, which I'll elaborate on as we move into it. So I've not actually been to the gym yet. So if I'm a bit jittery and talking like a maniac, it's because it's still kicking in. But like I say, I've used it enough times to know what the deal is. Facts. So the beta alanine comes in strong as I can attest to right now, my ears are on fire. So I would say a good eight out of 10 on the tingle scale, like it's pretty, pretty intense. So if you like that, you're gonna like it here. If you don't like that, you're gonna have to either half serve it or look elsewhere because I just don't think you'll have a good time. So yeah, that comes in within about five to 10 minutes of taking it. And then you get the caffeine and other bits and pieces come in about 30, 40 minutes after you've taken it. So let's talk about the energy side of things first. Obviously you've got the caffeine and you've got a couple of other exotic stimulants, you've got the juniper berry in there. So it's a nice, interesting, unique little combination of ingredients. And jumping straight to the, the main point, the main question everyone's probably thinking or asking is, 
how hard does it hit? Is it like a stim junkie level product? Obviously it's called stim, it looks quite aggressive, the claims on the back of it, the interesting ingredients on the back. I would say it hits cleanly and strong, but not enough for me to sit here and say, yeah, it's a stim junkie pre-workout, guys, everyone get on it, the hype train is, is real. That's not the case. I would say it's one of those ones that sort of sits on the strong end of a daily driver, on the entry level end of edging into Stim Junkie Town. So it's in that gray area in between. I, I wouldn't say take it daily, like it, I mean, some people might be all right, but I personally wouldn't want to take it daily. It, it is quite on the strong side of daily, like I said, but then it's also not ridiculously strong that you'd have to restrict yourself to only taking it like once a week. So I would say a few times a week, you'd be fine taking this pre. So with that being said, what are we saying about the exotic stimulants? So I do believe that they are sourced well. I do believe they are genuine. I don't believe it's one of those scenarios where they're using it as a cover up for some synthetic illicit, you know, stimulants such as DMHA or similar. I think that they are the true ingredients and at a good source, like I say, I just think people need to manage their expectations with regards to some of these ingredients. So it doesn't, send you to euphoric town you know you're not off your head you're not floating you're very much aware that it's not illicit but having said that it does hit very cleanly and strongly and the focus is very much noticeably there but i'm getting a bit ahead of myself let's talk about the energy first i would say the energy is substantial like it's definitely you feel it i would be surprised if people take take this and say they can't feel it from an energy standpoint i would tell them to take a stim break so the energy is definitely there it's strong but consistent and smooth it lasts a good three hours there's no crash, there's no come down, no nastiness, there's no peaks and troughs. So it's a nice, steady, solid amount of energy. I really like the way it feels. It feels productive and healthy, considering you are taking, like I said, a few different exotic stimulants in this pre-workout. So yeah, it's gonna to be too strong for beginners. It's gonna be perfect for intermediate people that have been around the pre-workout block a little bit. Probably not quite strong enough to be a stim junkie pre, like I said, although, you know, stim junkies might want you know if you want something a bit more mild but still does give you a bit of a kick then this might be the perfect happy medium if you're looking to balance things a little bit um so yeah there's your energy for you focus i sort of alluded to this already but yeah there's no illicit off your head feeling to it it's a very much clean focus dialed in taking training seriously music slapping lifting heavy you're here with purpose. It's not a muck around pre, it's a grown up serious one. So I do agree with that statement on the side where they said it's for serious athletes. I do believe that to be the case. It is, it's a sort of pre you're gonna take for a serious session where you're perhaps going for PBs. Um, and actually that is another benefit that I will touch on as we move into the pump element of this pre-workout because all we've got in for pumps is the L-citrulline, which is more of a case of um, a catalyst for getting things moving and getting the blood around the body and the ingredients working more so than it is in there for pumps directly. The benefit of this now is that not everyone, not every type of athlete wants to get pumped in the gym. And what I mean by that is you know, if you're training for strength specifically, you know, if you're a strong man or a power lifter, you don't want to get pumped up because it can hinder your lifts. You know, think about squats and deadlifts and things like that. Getting a, a lower back pump can really screw you over. So with the fact that this pre doesn't really necessarily get you pumped in and of itself is, is a good thing in that regard because if you are training for strength, it's not going to mess you up. But you do have the energy and the focus element from the pre to really drive you in and dig your heels in and, and lift heavy. So I like that about it. So with that being said, naturally, you don't get too pumped on this pre-workout, although at the same time, it wouldn't necessarily hold you back from getting a good pump on, if that is your thing, if you do wanna get pumped, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna hinder you. So I do think it's most suited for strength athletes, for the reasons mentioned. Um, but having said that, obviously bodybuilders and other people that, that wanna lift weights for other reasons, you'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, guys, I think that does cover it all. There's no negatives to it. Um, it didn't suppress my appetite to a crushing degree. It didn't keep me up all night, although I would still wouldn't risk taking it too close to bedtime. Give yourself a good six hour window. Um, yeah, no nastiness come of it, no digestive issues. It hit very cleanly and, and consistently every time I've taken it. It's very predictable. I just think it's a nice package, especially for that price point. Like, don't get me wrong, you are paying that price point for only the energy and the focus side of things. You're not getting the pump element, the third trifecta as you might get from uh, you know, a lot of other pre's on the market. But like I said, 
I like that this option is out there on the market for people that are training primarily for strength that don't want the pump side of things. So it just is one of those things. If it's your bag, great. If it's not, then look elsewhere and move on. But I do think what it's trying to do, what it's setting out to do, it's doing well, it's dosed well. Um, you know, fair play to Eddie Hall for putting this together if he's the one behind it, although I do suspect it was probably his team that's formulated it. But neither here nor there, I think it's a really good product for that price point as well. And if you can cop it for the discounted price, like I did, the £31 odd amount, you're looking at even more of a bargain. And then I really would say, go on and get it if this sounds right for you. Um, but even at the stock price, the standard amount that I paid, I would still say it's worth it. I would say shortlist it if you're in the market for a pre-workout that prioritises energy and focus and if you're training more so for strength than pumps and hypertrophy and bodybuilding style reasons. I just think it's really, really good. I, I, I don't really have a bad word to say about it. All I would say is, like I say, if you've been around the pre-workout block and you hear these buzzwords like Kegelia Africana, you know, the sausage tree extract and Juglans and things like that, DMHA, and you're going in here thinking it's going to be a super hard hitting blow your head off pre that sends you to the moon and back, sorry, that's not the case here. It's a much more healthy, productive, dialed in, serious pre-workout than that. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, so yeah, guys, that does cover it all. What would I suggest if they wanted to improve it? Honestly, guys, I don't think I would. And there's not many pre's that I review where I would say, leave the label alone. But I think in this scenario, leave the label alone. It's doing the job just fine. And I like that price point. I've got nothing bad to say. But yeah, let us know your thoughts. Have you used it? Do you want to use it? What else do you want to see us review on the channel? All of the usuals, let us all down. Let us all know down below. And as always, stay Stick.